Hi guys, Dougie here with a new video. And this video is a Fury Warrior Soul Shuffle Match video. I've made a guide yesterday, so if you want to check that out, it will be in the description with the three builds. And uh, depending on situation, I will be to switching builds. Um, again, it really depends. We're playing with a DH. Uh, there is nowhere, no way I will uh, actually be able to stack Slaughterhouse, by the way. Because he has an AoE MS. It will be nearly impossible, so I'm going to uh, remove it. And I'm going to play with uh, Battlefield Commander. I'm going to play with Ravager. This is my fun build, by the way. But I feel like there is a lot of potential to AoE Cleave because there is an Arms Warrior and a Subbity Rogue, which means that my Ravager will have a lot of value. Uh, go for... Let's ask it. I try to always communicate, although it's, again, low MMR because my Fury Warrior uh, spec has low MMR. 1600 ah i mean i guess it's average mmr these days uh, so they're going for me i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna use cds i mean I, I don't have to maybe i don't have to like he already the army I'm, go I'm gonna pop a cd okay that's fine that's fine fear them all i, I might go on the on the healer might go on the healer Big damage! Big! <laughs> That's what I mean, man! I told you! I told you! The Ravager build does so much damage, man! Sorry for overreacting, man. I'm actually hyped because having Fury Warrior do so much damage is actually feeling good, man. So, you see, above of my um, head, you will see the, the abilities I'm pressing. So, if you cannot f follow me, I hurt myself. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh my days. Uh, go for the DH, swap on Cocoon, on Monk. Okay? Okay, we're doing good, man. We're doing good. Uh, here the same. There is a MS effect from arms, so I'm not going to, to take it. Uh, um, I'm oh, okay, I'm in combat, I'm in combat, I'm in combat. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna fear them. Kick them, kick them, kick them! Big damage! Stunning him! Woo! That's Cocoon, swap! Big damage! Okay, swap again! I have a lot of damage, a lot of damage! Oh, okay, that's that's a CD. Let's go, let's go back on the on the, the monk. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, you just have to go, monk, please. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, monk, man. Go, monk. Oh my god. <laughs> Why doesn't he listen to me, man? It's so simple. It's so simple. Just go, monk. Go, monk. I mean, we, we, can, we can split, that's not a problem. Oh, man. Ravager, Ravager. Big damage, big damage, big damage. I'm prepared for it, I'm prepared for it. I'm all for it. Big stun? Oh my god, I'm stunned. Ah, oh, come on. Go on, Monk! Oh, come on, man. Oh, please! Oh, I mean, so whatever, man. Son of a, son of a gun. Let's go. Let's go swap. I'm gonna disarm the heal. The um. Okay, we got a kill. Let's go. The damage I'm doing is actually insane. But the Ars Warrior, if he swapped with me, like I said, he had no cocoon, no um, re restoral. I think he plays with restoral. He had nothing. I kicked him. We had a stun. Available because he was not the art. It should be a kill, but he didn't swap. It is what it is. Uh, okay, so go for uh, Arms then swap on druid, please swap on druid Voila simple. Do you play with wounding? You have wounding, so I don't care Just play All right, let's do this. I'm hype, man. I'm doing like crazy damage. 
you could start, but you don't. Uh, you, you, you are one of those sub rogues that actually wait out a, f a full sap. All right, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go swap on him directly. Oh man, triple stun. Okay, swap again. It's fine. He already used his um. Oh. Okay, okay. We can go back on him. Come on, he's not the art. You, you have to stun him. Uh, he doesn't like. I I I call it out. What you need to. What they need to do, and they're not doing it, man. It's actually insane. Yeah. Yes, go on him. Go on him. Uh, oh my. Whatever, it's fine. But I, that, that's why, like, I have to play Solar House in those situations, but whatever. I mean, disarming him. Oh, I'm gonna stun him if he doesn't do that for me. I have my, I have my big burst ready. He has to decide on who he's going to heal. He has to decide. Okay, I'm gonna pop my CD. Uh, I might just jump. It's fine. He has no vanish. Fear. I have my burst. Let's go. Oh, I'm stunned. What? How did he die? <laughs> A bloodbath, 420k, let's go. And also every spirit at the same time. Okay, that's fine. Let's go, we did good. Okay, arms, can you listen? We go for DH, then swap on Monk for when Cocoon is gone. Okay? Okay, let's, let's hope. Yeah, but you didn't follow first. <laughs> Whatever. Can we win? I think if we can win for, um... Okay, I'm in combat. That's... Okay, I'm gonna fear him. Okay, that's cool. I'll disarm him. Okay, that's that's a big. I'm gonna swap up again on him. That should be a kill. You see, it's so simple, man. Go on one and then swap, and then they just panic because they don't know and they don't know how to react on a swap. Same here, DH. We go on war. Please swap on Monk when Cocoon is gone. Okay? Okay. Alright. And we're still not playing with, 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 with Slaughterhouse. I said, like, it's very hard to, to stack Slaughterhouse whenever there's another MS. It just falls off. Again, I explained it in my guide. If you want to check my guide, please do. Um, it will help me. Okay, let's, let's start right away with uh, doing some damage. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fear him. Oh, I want to disarm him. I'm, I'm gonna disarm him. Disarm. Okay, that's that that's one CD. Oh man, I missed. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I still have my... Okay. Big damage. Let's go. That's Cocoon. Cocoon gone. Swap, 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 swap. Please swap. Please swap. I'm gonna use a CD because he's... I'm lining him. Should be okay. Okay, that's fine. Let's swap back on, on the... 
He using crackling, man. That guy, man. Oh, that, that is that your TP, bro? You're too far away from TP, by the way. Oh, never mind. You're not. Oh my god, missed it. People stun. Disarm him. Fear. I mean, guys. I might change my tier list tomorrow, man. I might change it because I, I swear, since um, the buff, I'm actually like on a winning streak. You see my season stats. Uh, it's now 50%. I was actually 30% win rate. And since the buffs, I actually keep on winning. And then I did a one bad match, I think, where I think we were playing DKDH and a Frost Mage. That was a terrible match, man. Frost, Frost Mage just won like five rounds. And I lost the one round that I should have won with the Frost Mage. Um, please swap on uh, Monk. Yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna use my CD. I'm, I'm just, oh, okay, okay, okay. I accept that. I'm gonna disarm you too. Fear, fear, fear. All right. And now, boom, big damage. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> okay, that's. Cocoon, okay, okay, okay. Cocoon is gone, Cocoon is gone. Big damage. I was about to kick him, but whatever. I have a lot of damage, like I'm unstoppable right now. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. I still have my, my go with uh, with Odin's Fury. Uh, I got baited. Odin's Fury. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Because he's on the, he's, oh, I, I stunned the wrong one. Why would you do that, though? Okay, swap again. Like, I don't know why he goes and, and cyclones the... Please swap on, on, please do swap on him, bro. I'm gonna use my shot for uh, saving him. Nice, full, full stun DR. Oh, man. Man, I missed my kicks. That's that's terrible, but whatever. Okay, big Ravager. Ravager. He's super slowed, by the way. Super slowed. I'm gonna stun them both. I don't care about the DR. Try to to stop him however I can. Should be dead. Oh, that's a cocoon. Please swap on the on the on the warrior. You can do this. I don't know if I can actually kill him. Ah, uh, that's that's a bad matchup, man. Like th this should should be easy kill, but he's gonna die. You has, you still have a vanish, by the way. Still have a vanish. Should be a kill. GG, six wins. Guys. And I, if, if I would... Because, again, I'm thinking the players know how they play. They, they, could, they should play, right? If I was playing Slaughterhouse here, unfortunately I didn't because I thought they were like with a brain and they would swap with me, but they didn't. If I had Slaughterhouse, the monk would be already dead. But the problem is, again... My brain is, look, I say what I was about to do, which is get the CDs out and then go monk. And the rogue kind of said, oh, I'm going to do my own thing and then go away whenever the CDs were done. And there were like, then he went on the DH on the warrior for some reason while monk had no brew, no cocoon, no uh, restoral. So at that point, he has nothing to defend him themselves. So you should just go on the monk at that point. Especially since the monk is not good at kiting. If he was, if he was good at kiting, it would be another story. But right now, you see, 34 million damage. We have more damage than a DH, by the way. More damage than a DH. Guys, Fury Warrior is back on the menu. And I'm not saying it lightly. We have other problems. Fury Warrior is not nowhere near S tier. Let's, let's be honest about that. But in those situations where, again, it's a full meaty lobby and people are like clumped up on you or on your allies... You can just do a big Ravager. Again, this is my fun build. This is not even a meta build. It's a fun build, which I actually like to play into those matches. 
it does insane damage. I want to show you guys because I think the, the video is not that long, right? Ravager is my top two damage and Ravager actually hit two guys at the same time. So it's not like you're hitting pets or whatever. It's purely two guys and it does 12% of my damage. You have Crushing Blow, crit, uh, hitting for 126k, man. Oh my days. This is just Fury Warrior being back. So hopefully you did like the video. Again, I'm high energy today. Um, I'm actually very happy today. So maybe that's why. And uh, again, I'm, I'm looking forward to show you guys the ways of Fury Warrior. So if you want to check the PvP guide, please do in the description. I play with three builds. Uh, I know that the build that I'm currently playing is not the most meta one. I have the meta one on my build. Also the Annihilator one, which I think is not meta these days, in my opinion. But you see the amount of damage I do. Like, it's it's really, really high. And I have, like, multiple goes, uh, multiple ways. Again, my onslaught actually doing 130 normal hit. If it critted, it would be, like, insane. Uh, execute really worth to press. Uh, overall, I think it's, it's now in the right direction. Uh, I do feel like... We're still playing like kind of a build where you don't have a lot of choices um, because of how you have to play. But in general, I think it's a great time to pick up Fury Warrior if you haven't do done that. I think you have you have also some chances to do well in some castle lobbies. It's not the same as Arms Warrior where your Diver Sword kind of uh, gets no value there. Um, but again, dampening kind of ruins uh, Fury Warrior. So they have problems. It's nowhere near S tier, but it's way better than what, what it was on my previous tier list. So tomorrow I'll have a new tier list um, where I have changed my mind on a lot of subjects. So I'm going to explain that as well. It will be a long video like usual, but uh, hopefully you're there to actually bear with me. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to. So again, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Be sure to stay safe. We will catch you on the probably very soon in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.